just uh, just to bring it to everybody's attention, on September 18th, we're going to be having a uh, singer-songwriter night here to kind of celebrate what's going on and uh, all the participation from Tribe and from the Velvet Olive and Capital Package Store and Occam's Razor and Taco Loft and Vinyl Den. And we're going to be doing kind of a big celebratory night. So please come down. Uh, it's going to be a very similar atmosphere to this. And it's all original music made within five kilometers right here. So please come out to that. Come support local music. Thank you guys so much for being here. Save our stages. We have uh, the sexiest room in town, probably some of the most fun, flirty, fantastic staff. Uh, anybody that comes here, we make sure they have a good time. Nobody leaves unhappy. Great date night space. Um, it's a great late night space. It's just really awesome. And every week that we've been uh, open has been better than the last. It's been, it's been an incredible run. You come in the front door and immediately you see our dining room side. It's the, uh, this space behind me is, is the original space. Um, obviously we've been working on it over time, sprucing it up, adding some art. Uh, and then of course, yeah, on the, uh, the east side is our new river bar. It's gonna be our tap room. Um, we've been working on that for uh, a few months. Um, but the room itself, I mean, people come here all the time and, and they'll, they'll find new things. Um, installed new art pieces um, we display local art here um, it's just a really really nice room every time people walk in we hear a lot of wows and, uh, and we love that come and enjoy our space come and see it for yourself come and enjoy the whole Ross Street patio space because it's not just about tribe there are uh, a bunch of great great little not so hidden anymore gems uh, here downtown in this in this area so you know you can come down and visit us we'd love to have you make a reservation um, but we, we really encourage you to explore the area because there is so much to see. This summer has been incredible and we're pretty proud of it. You know, the DBA and the city do a great job with, uh, with programming, music and events down here. This year we've seen a huge increase in, uh, in programming created by um, the business owners. We've been doing live music, uh, open mic nights outside, um, and just live music right on the Ross Street patio. And, uh, I can tell you that on the days that there are programming on the Ross Street patio, especially music, um, you know, sales can easily double or triple. You know, and it's not about just sales for us, it's about creating space making, you know what I mean? It's uh, having a space for the musicians to be able to come and, and show off their talents has been uh, uh, honestly a blessing and we can't wait to see it grow. Eat a little, drink a little, flirt a little and tell your most awesome stories. Action. Hey, what's going on everybody? Welcome to Brutal Reality TV. We are coming live from somebody's house and this is in conjunction <laughs> with Downtown Red Deer Adventures. I'm here with Peyton Cameron. How you doing, buddy? I'm doing great, man. How are you doing? I'm doing pretty well. I mean, I'm not standing in a squash patch, but I mean, could be good. Said it right. <laughs> so yeah. you're kind of the guy that books all the bands. How did that come to be, that relationship with the people downtown? I, we, uh, I woke up on a Thursday morning and I got really sick of not being able to play music. And I went to Kyle Key, who owns Capital Package Store and the Velvet Olive and told him that I was fed up with not playing music and that we should play music. And we got together and that afternoon we decided to set it up exactly where it's set up in front of all three patios downtown. And uh, it's been growing ever since. So just to clarify for the folks at home, it's different than the patio that the, the city, they have their own patio downtown Yes, it's, as well. it's, this, it's the same patio, but we're, we're, we're at a different location. You repurposed it for this season. We repurposed it, yes. Right on. So. Why don't you tell us a little about, about September 18th and the event that'll be happening. So September 18th, we have uh, 11 singer songwriters who are coming together to share all music that is locally grown and written original music. Uh, some of Red Deer's finest will be out. Some of, I mean, 
the, the, the pedigree of talent is, is second uh, to none, second to none. It's second <laughs> to none. And, uh, everybody's going to be playing their songs and we're just going to be showcasing, uh, the local businesses as well as the local music and the cocktail scene and everybody who's been involved this summer. All right. So this is a very important question. If you had to arm wrestle any of the owners of the pubs downtown, who would you take on? No comment. No comment. <laughs> so you can take them all. He said it. Yeah. He said it, folks. All right. So what can people expect for September 18th? A hell of a night? A hell of a night. Uh, there's going to be some local beer blowing and some of the best food you can find in Alberta uh, being served up and all local music. It's, it's going to be kind of the first of its kind, I think. And all originals, right? So no no Sweet Home Alabama. All no, originals. No, no Freebird. Skinnered, no Freebird. <laughs> no. Okay, I'm not going. Screw that. <laughs> <laughs> all right, you got any final messages for the folks at home? Uh, be safe. Wear a mask if they ask. Be good to each other. And we'll see you on the 18th. Don't be dicks to the wait staff. Never, ever, ever be a dick. Wow. The sun is very hot. Once upon a time, I was falling in love. Now, now I'm, I'm only falling, falling apart. apart. <laughs> we are a historical science themed cocktail bar in the heart of Red Deer's historic downtown. We take a real scientific approach to our cocktails uh, to create a really unique drinking experience. Several different uh, unique techniques and uh, steps to, to ensure the maximum amount of flavor and uniqueness in every drink. We play with several different brands, liqueurs, clarified ice sometimes. Make sure you pay us a visit on Friday the 18th as we attempt to save our stages. We'd love to see you down here and support all the amazing local musicians that make our city so wonderful. We'd love to have you visit us in the downtown sometime and let us pour you some drinks. What's going on, Brutal Reality TV? I am here with Tyler Walleen. Hello. AKA Mutant Man. Yes, hello. Well, what's your what's your weapon of choice? Acoustic guitar? Yeah, acoustic guitar I play, I sing, and right now I'm learning other stuff just to help myself become a better musician, I guess, and fill out my songs. What kind of other stuff, like schmoozing with promoters? No, drums and a little <laughs> bit of synthesizers to make it not sound so empty when I'm just by myself. Right on. So how long have you been playing music in Red Deer? Uh, my first show or first set that I ever played in Red Deer was in like 2012 at the Velvet Olive on a Thursday. If it was, or was it Tuesdays then? I think it's always been Thursdays there for open mics. But um, so it was about eight uh, 2018 when I started playing regularly and making a a, a goal for myself to play a, every open mic that I could basically. Okay, so what what's your background then? You come from playing in bands or you've always just kind of did the solo thing? I had a band in high school. We were the typical like pop punk trashy <laughs> trashy band and uh, 
we didn't we didn't go very far and <laughs> <laughs> obviously but i started playing on my own after that and so for uh, this uh, ross street stage how important has that been for you during this craziness that's been going on around us uh it's been really interesting to have a place If it was, or was it Tuesdays then? I think it's always been Thursdays there for open mics. But, um, so it was so, uh, 2018 when I started playing regularly and making a, a, a goal for myself to play uh, every open mic that I could, basically. Okay, so what, what's your background then? You come from playing in bands or you've always just kind of did the solo thing? I had a band in high school. We were the typical, like, pop punk trashy <laughs> trashy band and uh we didn't we didn't go very far and <laughs> obviously but i started playing on my own after that and so for uh this uh ross street stage how important has that been for you during this craziness that's been going on around us uh it's been really interesting to have a place
I think it's going to be busy. I don't know for sure. I don't know. Maybe seven. Maybe six. Uh, running start. Please. Quoted as being a renaissance man. Well, my name's Kyle Key. I'm the owner here at the Velvet Olive and the Capital Package Store and Ross Street Printing and Red Deer Scene and I think that's it. A Velvet Olive is a very small space. It's very intimate. Uh, our full pre-COVID capacity, we're at 42 seats. Uh, we had to remove more than half our tables to put ourselves within the six foot guidance of uh, social distancing. So we're now at 39% capacity inside. So we went from 42 seats to 16 seats inside. The Capital Package Store is essentially an extension of the Velvet Olive. Um, it allows us to be open earlier for lunches and still serve the same beer and cocktails that we have on our menu. Uh, it also allows us to have kind of a general store so we can sell different items that we uh, make here and do some kind of gift boxes and off sales and that sort of thing for the upcoming kind of holiday season. It's a kind of a two-part uh, story on the name. Uh, the building that we're in now used to be the Capitol Theatre. So from 1938 to 1960, it was the Capitol Theatre. And I wanted to kind of pay homage to that uh, era of the, the golden era of film. And this theatre had 500 seats, and there was another movie theatre across the street, the Crescent Theatre, that, uh, that both showed movies at the same time for many decades of movies and thousands and thousands of people through here. We, are, we always knew that the community downtown was very heavily focused around live music. And when live music went away, we, we all missed that. And, and we kind of realized how much we took for granted the ability to go to 20 different venues in town and see live music on any given day of the week. There was always an option for that. And when that, when that went away, the community really suffered from that. And as soon, the very first day that there was music outside, um, I actually I think I think the first unprogrammed show was uh, Carl Stratton was just set up a battery powered amp and just played music outside every day, and uh, just to give people that that glimpse of okay we can this isn't gone forever. playing on my own after we have expression uh, through through music so it's been really good I was quoted as being a renaissance man. Well, my name's Kyle Key. I'm the owner here at the Velvet Olive and the Capital Package Store and Ross Street Printing and the Red Deer Scene and I think that's it. The Velvet Olive is a very small space. It's very intimate. Uh, our full pre-COVID capacity, we're at 42 seats. 
Uh, we had to remove more than half our cables to put ourselves within the six foot guidance of uh, social distancing. So we're now at 39%. Went from 42 seats to The Capital Package Store is essentially an extension of the Velvet Olive. Um, it allows us to be open earlier for lunches and still serve the same beer and cocktails that we have on our menu. Uh, it also allows us to have kind of a general store so we can sell different items that we uh, make here and do some kind of gift boxes and off sales and that sort of thing for the upcoming kind of holiday season. It's a kind of a two-part uh, story on the name. Uh, the building that we're in now used to be the Capitol Theater. So from 1938 to 1960, it was the Capitol Theater. And I wanted to kind of pay homage to that uh, era of the, the golden era of film. And this theater had 500 seats. And there was another movie theater across the street, the Crescent Theater, that, uh, that both showed movies at the same time for many decades of movies and thousands and thousands of people through here. We, we always knew that the community downtown was very heavily focused around live music and when live music went away we, we all missed that and, and we kind of realized how much we took for granted the ability to go to 20 different venues in town and see live music on any given day of the week. There was always an option for that and when that, when that went away the community really suffered from that. And as soon, the very first day that there was music outside, um, I, actually, I think, I think the first unprogrammed show was uh, Carl Stretton was just set up a battery-powered amp and just played music outside every day. And uh, just to give people that, that glimpse of, okay, we can, this isn't gone forever. The heartbeat, the soul of, uh, of the community in this downtown area is still alive and it's still beating and we can uh, we can get it back so once we knew that the once we found out that the Red Deer City was installing the Ross Street patio again and programming it with music uh, we, we really kind of we, we saw the hope we saw the light at the end of the tunnel and as soon as those events started happening we just saw the, the same people the, the community gather and uh, sit and enjoy live music and you know we kind of got our we got our happiness back the open mic with singing outside allows us allows musicians and the community that enjoys live music to come out and enjoy and come out and uh, you know do the thing that they love their kind of creative expression uh, through through music. So it's been really good. some local beer flowing and some of the best food you can find in Alberta uh, being served up and all local music. It's, it's going to be kind of the first of its kind, I think. And all originals, right? So no, no Sweet Home Alabama. All no, originals. No, no Freebird. Skinner, no Freebird. <laughs> no. Okay, I'm not going. Screw that. <laughs> all right, you got any final messages for the folks at home? Uh, 
Be safe. Wear a mask if they ask. Be good to each other, and we'll see you on the 18th. Don't be dicks to the wait staff. Never, ever, ever be a dick. Wow. That sun is very hot. Once upon a time, I was falling in love. Now, now I'm, I'm only, only falling, falling apart. apart. <laughs> we are a historical science-themed cocktail bar in the heart of Red Deer's historic downtown. We take a real scientific approach to our cocktails uh, to create a really unique drinking experience. Several different uh, unique techniques and uh, steps to, to ensure the maximum amount of flavor and uniqueness in every drink. We play with several different brands, liqueurs, clarified ice sometimes. Make sure you pay us a visit on Friday the 18th as we attempt to save our stages. We'd love to see you down here and support all the amazing local musicians that make our city so wonderful. We'd love to have you visit us in the downtown sometime and let us pour you some drinks. What's going on, Brutal Reality TV? I am here with Tyler Walleen. Hello. AKA Mutant Man. Yes, hello. Well, what's your what's your weapon of choice? Acoustic guitar? Yeah, okay, acoustic guitar I play, I sing, and right now I'm learning other stuff just to help myself become a better musician, I guess, and fill up my songs. What kind of other stuff? Like schmoozing with promoters? No, drums and a little <laughs> bit of synthesizers to make it not sound so empty when I'm just by myself. Right on. So how long have you been playing music in Red Deer? Uh, my first show or first set that I ever played in Red Deer was in like 2012 at the Velvet Olive on a Thursday. If it was, or was it Tuesdays then? I think it's always been Thursdays there for open mics. But um, so it was about eight uh, 2018 when I started playing regularly and making a a, a goal for myself to play uh, every open mic that I could basically. Okay, so what what's your background then? You come from playing in bands, or you've always just kind of did the solo thing? I had a band in high school. We were the typical like pop punk trashy <laughs> trashy band, and uh, we didn't we didn't go very far, and <laughs> <laughs> obviously, but. <laughs> I started playing on my own after that. and So for uh, this uh, Ross Street stage, how important has that been for you during this craziness that's been going on around us? Uh, it's been really interesting to have a play.
has shown up?
less cheese, more other things. We start with the absent tribe. Actually, we can't have you turn it down anyway. Right, what's going on? Welcome back to Brutal Reality TV. We're live on location at, which I've now found out is Tegan's house, and I'm with Kayla Williams. How you doing? Good. At this bush? It's a good bush. This is a good bush. Good bush. Butch? <laughs> <laughs> I don't uh, know what you're bush? into, but I'm just into nature. <laughs> Squash, pashes, and, and butches. There's all kinds of shit going Pash on here. Pash butch. <laughs> <laughs> so, all right, it's a beautiful September day. We're sweating by the sun. Bullets. Yeah. So, good day. Uh, yeah, let's talk a bit about the Ross Street stage. I'm really excited. The Ross, I've, if anyone hasn't been down, it's a beautiful stage they've set up. I mean, same location, as we've said, as the downtown stage. But at night, it turns into a different crowd. You've got, like, 80 people rolling up, beautiful artists. It's fabulous. It's just a good time. It's like, it feels like a different city. It doesn't feel like downtown Red Deer. So would you call yourself a bit of a veteran of the Red Deer stage scene at this point? I'm old. No. <laughs> yes, I would say that. I've been around. That sounds awful. But I've been <laughs> in the scene for a while. And I, because I love it, because Red Deer scene is like, really like no other. There's a community. There's a group of people here that you can vibe with, that you can play as musicians. There's just like a lot of camaraderie in this scene versus competitiveness, which sometimes happens in other markets. So Red Deer has something special, which is why I, yes, have been around the block. So there's not going to be any fights to the death on September 18th. There might be. <laughs> Me and Peyton <laughs> will fight to the death. Right on. So how long have you been playing shows around Red Deer and area? I think I started my solo stuff up in 2017. So it's been a few years. But I've been around longer. I've been a teacher. I'm a vocal coach as well. So in the community that way. And been a musician here for, yeah, probably, I mean, we're going to say a decade. That's going to really age me, but... <laughs> We're gonna say a decade in the scene here, so. So your weapon of choice is the keyboard or is the piano, the or both. Well, the keyboard, because it's just a little bit more capable of those synth functions. You plug it in, you know, different than a acoustic piano. So who are some of your influences in that style, the synth style? That's a great question. Um, I love Fleetwood Mac. That's not synth at all, but I love <laughs> it's the oldies. Like think of Christine McVie and like piano. So I love like oldies style. Steely Dan, Fleetwood Mac, 
So on a normal open mic night, you can expect a lot of covers from you guys? On a normal open mic, I'd say, yeah, we do def- definitely go to the covers because you get that crowd reaction, right? So we'll do, like, Whitney. We'll yeah, do... Cheap laughs. Oh, wow. Well, Anybody here, just, like, partying? <laughs> just, like, big responses. <laughs> when you play Whitney Houston, right. everybody's going to be on their feet dancing, right? So it's a little bit different this evening, which is going to be all originals. But I still think, in this community anyway, a lot of people do respond to the originals and actually listen. They're there to actually focus and listen and enjoy the material that people have written and have come to the table with. So it's not, it's it's really quite a focused group. So when you're downtown, what's uh, what's your drink of choice? <laughs> uh, <laughs> and anything? We'll go uh, mimosa. That's what I had today on the patio at Capital, actually. Capital package, Packaging? Package building. Package, what's it called? package capital package please edit this um <laughs> nope. i'm just calling it capital though because that sounds cool Is everybody in? Uh, thank you guys so much for coming out. This is this is breathtaking. The point of view from here is truly breathtaking. So thank you each and every one of you for coming out and being a part of this. My name is Peyton Cameron. Uh, this summer has been a hell of a journey, and uh, we've all we've all gone through this big, beautiful hardship together and uh, it's so nice to see everybody coming together and sharing in community so please give yourselves a round of applause and before we get started uh, we have a good friend who's uh, who's a really integral part of our downtown community here and uh, she's going through a bit of a hard time and she's fighting her ass off and I just want to send a big shout out to uh, Diane Hermery who cannot be here tonight, but uh, she's giving us some spirits. Now I'm gonna shut up and start playing some music.
This song is for Diane. Soon back to the fire. But we can retire together every night. I'm always reminded that you're usually right. Never to feel like we're ever alone. Look for a place to call my home. Got another trail from the wild we can roam Looking for a place to call my own Got 
very much. I've got one more song for you guys. Uh, we have a hell of a lineup tonight. We've got uh, 10 more great artists to get through. All of this is uh, music that has been written within, I would say, about 10 kilometers of right here. So you're getting all original music, all Central Alberta local Red Deer artists, and uh, please be good to one another, treat each other with respect, and uh, enjoy the night.
yesterday. Show me what it is to believe in a better way. Thank you very much. We got a great night ahead. Please stay tuned. Get drunk. Get home safe. But get drunk. We're going to have a lot of fun tonight. We'll see you guys in a sec. Oh, my name's Kyle Key. I'm the owner here at the Velvet Olive and the Capital Package Store and Ralph Street Printing and Red Deer Scene and I think that's it. A Velvet Olive is a very small space. It's very intimate. Uh, our full pre-COVID capacity, we're at 42 seats. Uh, we had to remove more than half our tables to put ourselves within the six foot guidance of uh, social distancing. So we're now at 39% capacity inside. So we went from 42 seats to 16 seats inside. The Capital Package Store is essentially an extension of the Velvet Olive. Um, it allows us to be open earlier for lunches and still serve the same beer and cocktails that we have on our menu. Uh, it also allows us to have kind of a general store so we can sell different items that we uh, make here and do some kind of gift boxes and off sales and that sort of thing for the upcoming kind of holiday season. It's a kind of a two-part uh, story on the name. Uh, the building that we're in now used to be the Capitol Theatre. So from 1938 to 1960, it was the Capitol Theatre. And I wanted to kind of pay homage to that uh, era of the, the golden era of film. And this theatre had 500 seats, and there was another movie theater across the street, the Crescent Theater, that, uh, that both showed movies at the same time for many decades of movies and thousands and thousands of people through here. We, are, we always knew that the community downtown was very heavily focused around live music, and when live music went away, we, we all missed that, and, and we kind of realized how much we took for granted the ability to go to 20 different venues in town and see live music on any given day of the week, there was always an option for that. And when that, when that went away, the community really suffered from that. And as soon, the very first day that there was music outside, um, I, actually I think, I think the first unprogrammed show was uh, Carl Stretton, was just set up a battery powered amp and just played music outside every day. And uh, just to give people that, that glimpse of, okay, we can, this isn't gone forever. The heartbeat, the soul of, uh, of the community in this downtown area is st still alive and it's still beautiful.
I got a G by so foul from a guy named Ben. I got a G by so foul, man, he took ten. I got a G by so foul from a guy named Ben. I got a G by so foul, man, he took ten. I say, oh, what you gonna do? I'm gonna hunt him down like a dog. I say, oh, what you gonna do? I'm gonna hunt him down like a dog. I say, oh, what you gonna do? Man, he's coming to town. He's a dream old boy like a couple of clowns. I said, oh, what you gonna do? Baby, hunt him down like a dog. I got a tea by so foul from a girl named Jan. A tea by so foul, me she took me tan. I got a tea by so foul from a girl named Jan. I got a tea by so foul, me she took me tan. I say, what you gonna do, a baby, hunt them down like a dog? I say, what you gonna do, I'm gonna hunt them down like a dog? I say, oh, what you gonna do, man, to come into town? Dream your boy like a couple of clowns. I say, oh, what you gonna do, baby, I'm going down like a dog. Thanks, I got one more. Song's called Long Lake of Woman. I got a long leg of woman, man, she looks so fine. She drinks vodka to the town. Peel the cottage eat, and I'm down to New Orleans. I'm the friends tell me sit up free, oh yeah. yeah I got nowhere to go. Oh yeah. Santa makes me go. I got a long leg woman, man, she's hard to let go. No, she can't keep a nose from a bag of blow. Oh, you guys have a bag. She can tell on the fingers, she can needles in her toes. I got a long leg of woman, man, she's hard to let go. Long leg of woman, man, she's hard to let go. Long leg of woman, man, she's hard to let go. 
let go. I got a long leg, woman, means how to let go. Oh, yeah. It's time to set her free. Oh, yeah. It's time to set her free. Let's give a big hand for John Miles. Woo! All right, I gotta get my list under me here, just in a sec. Okay, up next we have Tyler Wallin. Mutant Man is up next. And uh, before we get Mutant Man up, I'd like to be, uh, give a big thanks to Tribe, Capital Package Store, The Velvet Olive, Occam's Razor, Taco Loft, Vinyl Dan, Everybody who's been here supporting all summer, let's give a big hand for the people who are feeding you and watering you. In three minutes, we have meeting men. A historical science-themed cocktail bar in the heart of Red Deer's historic downtown. take a real scientific approach to our cocktails uh, to create a really unique drinking experience. Several different uh, unique techniques and uh, steps to, to ensure the maximum amount of flavor and uniqueness in every drink. We play with several different brands, liqueurs, clarified ice sometimes. Make sure you pay us a visit on Friday the 18th as we attempt to save our stages. We'd love to see you down here and support all the amazing local musicians that make our city so wonderful. We'd love to have you visit us in the downtown sometime and let us pour you some drinks.
here at the Taco Loft where we sell taco and taco accessories. I went to an Edmonton Oilers game in uh, Anaheim uh, for playoffs. I was just down there chilling in Venice Beach. Uh, we got back from the game, went to a taco truck, had these little tacos. They were delicious. Um, kind of hung out with the guys for a little bit. They were giving us little shots of Jose Cuervo and little plastic ramekins. Cold, so I'm gonna play some music and warm up. Hopefully, you guys are staying warm too. My name is Mutant Man, also known as Tyler Walling. Uh, pleasure to be here. I'm gonna sing some songs I wrote just like everyone else. Uh, this first song I wrote two years ago, I guess, when I first got really acquainted with my depression, and uh, this helped me get out of it then. So. Hopefully you uh, hear something that's uh, relatable, I guess. The song is called You Are What People Get When They Are Bad. It's worth the money. 
money Cause I know I ain't that fun to be around If I wanna die and maybe in a year Or maybe I'll find Something sort of like peace of mind Oh, oh, oh So now I prepare the day I get up for a stretch the voices come back and they say they tell me son oh don't you know you are people get they are bad oh and they just want to sink that one in a bit so they say it again a little louder this time they say you are people get when they Coming back, well, I know I'll think again. So if I wanna leave, just leave me be. I'm running out of room to hide all these broken things. And if it's true, then when it ends, we'll come be coming back. I know I think again. Coming back, well, I know I'll think again. Cause if I want to leave, I don't know where to be. I should go for a little swim or maybe swing on a tree. Cause it'd probably be oh, a little more fun to go outside and see my friends. I miss you, everyone. Tune in here. Now that the cable's off. Oh, how's it going? Three people are enjoying it. There we go. Thanks. Oh, thanks. And almost there. All right, this next song. Uh, it's called Big Half, and I wrote it from a little half.
This one's long, but like, it's one, I guess. Alright, this next one's probably my favorite song I've ever wrote. Um, so, yeah, here it is.
Thanks to all these wonderful bars and Ryan sounds awesome. Here's Peyton. Thank you, Peyton. Big Amber Mutant Man. We're gonna take a couple minutes to get Amanda Mitchell set up. Amanda is up next. Taco Loft, where we sell taco and taco accessories. I went to an Edmonton Oilers game in uh, Anaheim uh, for playoffs. I was just down there chilling in Venice Beach. Uh, we got back from the game, went to a taco truck, had these little tacos. They were delicious. Um, kind of hung out with the guys for a little bit. They were giving us little shots of Jose Cuervo and little plastic ramekins because it was Cinco de Mayo. And the idea kind of pondered. It seemed like something that Red Deer has been missing. Uh, so, uh, and then it kind of all came together when we seen this space and we're big on supporting local through, you know, purchasing through local suppliers, making sure we're using local meats and local vegetables whenever we can, which is a little more difficult when we're kind of getting into the inspiration of Mexican. You know, all of our tortillas come from a guy that makes them up at Edmonton, trying to keep all that money in the, uh, what is struggling Alberta economy. You know, I, I've ran a lot of numbers in the past when it comes to stages and uh, music in the restaurant. I have a whole spreadsheet on how it affects business. Um, and I've never seen it affect business this much. I've never seen people so just kind of in the moment. I remember the first Thursday night we had where there was a where there was an open jam. Nobody really knew it was happening, but everybody did pass by. They're like, stuff. It's like kind of normal and they could sit down, they could have a margarita or a taco or, um, you know, have one of Tribe's flatbreads or those yummy little chicken bites that uh, Chef Luke makes next door at the Olive. It was just a really great vibe, you know, that you, even when things are normal, the music seems so spread out, but now it is centralized. This is what's happening. The bands that have been showing up are kind of the best of the best of Central Alberta and beyond. I'm like, these people never come out to open jabs. Nobody, you know, I looked over one day and there was like 20 guitar cases piled over on the olive patio. So that was uh, pretty phenomenal seeing that. We went from staying open to eight to 11 on a couple nights of the week because of the demand for the live music. So come down to the Taco Loft, come check us out. But when you come here, you really, really gotta be prepared just to have fun, have a flavor experience and always check out Taco Tuesday. songs are a bit of uh, little journal entries. Um, 
when I grew up, I I grew up in a really kind of fundamentalist, really sort of conservative religion. And uh, as I grew up, I kind of realized that it didn't fit with my own personal ethics and morals, and I left. And when I did, I was actually shunned by my community and my family. So, um, so after that, I went on Meetup. I don't know if you guys have ever heard of that site, but there's all these different kinds of like writing groups and I don't know groups on Meetup anyway. Um, and I found one for ex-members of this organization that I used to be a part of. And so this song's kind of about about that, a little bit about me, about just wondering if I was ever going to see my family again. And I did this summer. It was really nice. But anyway, just to give you some background on it. And Kyle made me give a name to all my songs. So this one I think I called again. I can't stop thinking about if I will see you again, if I'll smell my home again, if I will belong again, oh, oh, oh. Those streets, they carried me, my bed was the shape of me, sometimes I feel like it all was Sometimes I wonder if we'll ever dance again. Don't worry, be happy, cause you're in my arms again. These walls were made for me, but I needed to be free. Sometimes I feel like it all was just a dream. Oh, oh, oh. to blame for your pain, but your life is your own at the end of the day. Your life, your life, your life, oh, oh, your life, your life, your life, oh, oh, your love, your love, your love, oh, oh, your love, your love, your love, oh, oh, your life, your life, your life. city as somebody for years and years and years and maybe even frequent some of the same places but never actually meet up and so um, the song's a bit about that and a bit about this quote um, that says lovers don't finally meet somewhere they're in each other all along so I, I named this song all along Tell me, cause I already know Inside me, it's been there all along You've been there all along oh, We don't gotta blame it On the weather, I know it's only right When we're together, you've been there all along I've been there all along oh, gotta ask to kiss me no it's what I've been missing all along all along on the same streets in the same city line under that big moon dancing to the same songs at the same
last song and then I get to have more beer. <laughs> so excited. Uh, so another love song, um, it's called Steady. And I wrote it about the sun and the moon and uh, now in hindsight, it, it's kind of about a relationship that was all but steady. And you know, about one of those situations where maybe you really love someone but you know it's just not, it can never be, it can never work, so. comes I'll wake you slow cause I know you've been working so hard don't be afraid I'll keep you warm every day on the train Let's give a big hand for Amanda Mitchell. We're going to take it for five minutes to get set up, and uh, we have Mike Zabo and Katie Grant up next. I think we have uh, the sexiest room in town, probably some of the most fun, flirty, fantastic staff. Uh, anybody that comes here, we make sure they have a good time. Nobody leaves unhappy. Great date night space. Um, it's a great late night space. It's just really awesome. And every week that we've been uh, open has been better than the last. It's been, it's been an incredible run. You come in the front door and immediately you see our dining room side. It's the, uh, this space behind me is, is the original space. Um, obviously we've been working on it over time, sprucing it up, adding some art. Uh, and then of course, yeah, on the, uh, the east side, is our new river bar. It's going to be our tap room. Um, we've been working on that for uh, a few months. Um, but the room itself, I mean, people come here all the time and, and they'll, they'll find new things um, installed, new art pieces. Um, we display local art here. Um, it's just a really, really nice room. Every time people walk in, we hear a lot of wows and, uh, and we love that. Come and enjoy our space. Come and see it for yourself. Come and enjoy the whole Ross Street patio space because it's not just about tribe. There are uh, a bunch of great, great little, not so hidden anymore gems uh, here downtown in this in this area. So, you know, you can come down and visit us. We'd love to have you make a reservation. Um, 
but we, we really encourage you to explore the area because there is so much to see. This summer has been incredible and we're pretty proud of it. You know, the DBA and the city do a great job with, uh, with programming, music and events down here. This year we've seen a huge increase in, uh, in programming created by um, the business owners. We've been doing live music, uh, open mic nights outside, um, and just live music right on the Ross Street patio. And uh, I can tell you that on the days that there are programming on the Ross Street patio, especially music, um, you know, sales can easily double or triple. You know, and it's not about just sales for us, it's about creating space making, you know what I mean? It's uh, having a space for the musicians to be able to come and, and show off their talents has been uh, uh, honestly a blessing and we can't wait to see it grow. Eat a little, drink a little, flirt a little, and tell your most awesome stories.
check, check. Check one, two, check one, two, check one, two, check one, two, check one, two. Check one, two, check one, two, check one, two, check one, two. Whoa. Check one, two, check one, two, check one, two. Check one, two.
Yeah. Katie and I would like to, to thank each and every one of you for being here. Um, and we, we would also like to say a, a shout out to our very special friend, Diane, who couldn't be here tonight, but she's here with us. I think she's watching live streaming. And if she's not, I really hope you'd find gentlemen doing the filming would make sure she gets a copy of it. It would mean everything to us. So, so uh, hey, Diane, we love you. song I'm going to do is called Sparrow in the Wind. A friend of mine I met, Jess Lee, he actually does uh, Merle Haggard tribute shows, and he's very good. He feels like oh, huge, huge audiences. And uh, he kind of helped me write, and I appreciate him for that, and we became really good friends. I want to dedicate this song to him. Red Deer. thing because 
You guys are in for a real treat, for sure. <clears throat> How about Katie Grant, hey? I get, to, I get to listen to her beautiful voice every day. And it's a, it's a blessing. We're gonna do two each, uh, because we're, we, we wanted to come up as a duo and, you know, and be here together, so. It just makes sense that the oldest guy has got the book because he's got to have the words because he can't remember his songs that he wrote, right? Just because he just wrote them the other day, literally. One of them anyway. Well, I'm, gonna, I'm, gonna even, I'm even going to try and tune my guitar. Hey, I just want to say, um, the guitar right here that, that uh, our, our, our intrepid Katie Grant has been playing for you was built by our friend David Gilmore, who's just standing right over here. Um, he's one of, one of Red Deer's treasures. He's a master luthier, um, all around great guy, uh, plays in the uh, Gibbs and Gilly duo. And uh, if it wasn't for the lady standing beside him, he'd be nothing. As most of us men would. Who are fortunate enough to have the right woman beside us would tell you. Yeah, amen. I sound really loud to me. Wait till I start singing. This is a song um, I wrote not long ago. <clears throat> I think it is. Yep, that's the one. Oh, it sounds so out of tune. This is a song about uh, working away from home. It's called Six More Days. It's so hard to know you're crying It's a little bit like dying I only want to be with you tonight It kills me, babe, that I'm not there I'm working out and God knows where Still have six more days before my flight and Every minute, every day I hate that I'm so far away I'm wishing I was there with you tonight I miss you, babe, and I miss our son I wasn't there when he turned one No matter how I spin that, it ain't right Daddy tried to tell me there might be a better way His wish for me was that I give to go home every day he told me he was sorry for the times that he was missing when I needed him to be around maybe just go fishing <laughs> our girls are growing up so fast I can't believe six weeks have passed I kiss their pictures each and every day and Every time that I come home I see what I missed and how they've grown the Life that happened while I was away and Knowing that you're there alone You're catching everything that's thrown That's tough on you no matter what you say Bills don't stop, things pile up, things that break need fixing. My date will have to wait another day. 
Daddy tried to tell me there might be a better way. His wish for me was that I get to go home every day. I couldn't know the way he did how hard it would be. I'd always be so far away. I miss my family. to talk for a while, but I do have something really important to talk about. And I don't know, David, if you recognize this, this little thing. David doesn't only just sell guitars, he is one hell of a salesman. I had my Gilmore in, and he was doing a little free adjustment for me for about an hour and a half, which his time is very valuable. And as I was about to leave, he says, hey, I got something you haven't seen before. And he comes up with this $32 cable. I bought it. And I wrote this song with it. Anybody else been having trouble with truth? And the internet and the web and all that other? God help us all. I got, I got mad and I wrote a kind of an angry song. called the web. Doesn't that sound good? Oh, what a tangled web we've made with politicians on parade, communications numbing minds, and television spreading lies, the images we hold so near of humankind in pain and fear unsure of what we even see outgrowing its enormity golden rule has lost its shine there are no rules what's yours is mine we kill each other, that's no lie. We watch the other humans die. What is the truth? How will we know if what we're told is really so? Things we see with our own eyes cannot be trusted, might be lies, and my own words, how real are they, the words you hear I'm told to say, I can see the things I do, and maybe that's the only truth, the golden rule has lost its shine, there are no rules, what's yours is mine. We kill each other, that's no lie. We watch 
the other humans die. Where is the truth? Is it still here? So far away and yet so near. And in our hands, these little screens, we've never been so lost, it seems. Yet day by day, we take the stand. The liars of the world command. Unaware, we don't know just how the other humans grow. The golden rule has lost its shine. There are no rules, what's yours is mine. We kill each other, that's no lie. We watch the other humans die. Where is the truth? Where is it told? Where people pray, where news is sold? Information filtered then It filters through our minds again And people marching in the streets Called to arms by their little screens Fighting a familiar foe Their friends and neighbors Those they know The golden rule Has lost its shine There are What's yours is mine. We kill each other, there's no lie. We watch the other humans die. We watch the other humans die. How many other humans will die? Thank you very much, everybody. Thank you, Peyton, for everything you've done here, man. Big up for Mike Zabo and Katie Grant. historical science-themed cocktail bar in the heart of Red Deer's historic downtown. We take a real scientific approach to our cocktails uh, to create a really unique drinking experience. several different uh, unique techniques and uh, steps to, to ensure the maximum amount of flavor and uniqueness in every drink. We play with several different brands, liqueurs, clarified ice sometimes. Make sure you pay us a visit on Friday the 18th as we attempt to save our stages. We'd love to see you down here and support all the amazing local musicians that make our city so wonderful. We'd love to have you visit us in the downtown sometime and let us pour you some drinks.
a big hand for Mike Zabo and Katie, everybody. Mikey Katie is I know. Yeah. Right on. Right on. My name's Pete Stone. I'm just going to play a couple songs I wrote.
Just cause we are fighting Don't mean our love is dying Something will emerge from this 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 All right, this one's called Spontaneity. for the bar call.
what you couldn't get from me. Wish you the best as we go our separate ways. Look to tomorrow. I can't live yesterday. Wish you the best. <laughs> A new beginning. New horizon open shores. I know I loved you. Maybe I could have done more. But in the end, we both knew we weren't gonna see this through. I wish you the best. Find what you need. I found it was something that you couldn't get from me. I wish you the best as we go our separate ways. I love you tomorrow. Can't live a yesterday. I wish you the best. You the best. and uh, get Shelly Prince up. Shelly is up next. My name's Kyle Key. I'm the owner here at the Velvet Olive and the Capital Package Store and Rough Street Printing and Red Deer Scene and I think that's it. A Velvet Olive is a very small space. It's very intimate. At uh, our full pre-COVID capacity, we're at 42 seats. Uh, we had to remove more than half our tables to put ourselves within the six foot guidance of uh, social distancing. So we're now at 39% capacity inside. So we went from 42 seats to 16 seats inside. The Capital Package Store is essentially an extension of the Velvet Olive. Um, it allows us to be open earlier for lunches and still serve the same beer and cocktails that we have on our menu. Uh, it also allows us to have kind of a general store so we can sell different items that we uh, make here and do some kind of gift boxes and off sales and that sort of thing for the upcoming kind of holiday season. It's a kind of a two-part uh, story on the name. Uh, the building that we're in now used to be the Capitol Theater. So from 1938 to 1960, it was the Capitol Theater. And I wanted to kind of pay homage to that 
uh, era of the, the golden era of film. And this theater had 500 seats, and there was another movie theater across the street, the Crescent Theater, that, uh, that both showed movies at the same time for many decades of movies and thousands and thousands of people through here. We, are, we always knew that the community downtown was very heavily focused around live music. And when live music went away, we, we all missed that. And, and we kind of realized how much we took for granted the ability to go to 20 different venues in town and see live music on any given day of the week. There was always an option for that. And when that, when that went away, the community really suffered from that. And as soon, the very first day that there was music outside, um, I, actually I think, I think the first unprogrammed show was uh, Carl Stretton was just set up a battery powered amp and just played music outside every day. And uh, just to give people that, that glimpse of, okay, we can, this isn't gone forever. The heartbeat, the soul of, uh, of the community in this downtown area is st still alive and it's still beating and we can, uh, we can get it back. So once we knew that the, once we found out that the Red Deer City was installing the Ross Street patio again and programming it with music, uh, we, we really kind of, we, we saw the hope, we saw the light at the end of the tunnel and as soon as those events started happening, we just saw the, the same people, the, the community gather and uh, sit and enjoy live music and you know, you know we kind of got our, we got our happiness back. The open mic with singing outside allows us, allows musicians and the community that enjoys live music to come out and enjoy and come out and uh, you know do the thing that they love, their kind of creative expression uh, through through music. So it's been really good.
royalty one. So if you have space to dance, I highly recommend it. Okay, it's called it. Follow. historic downtown. We take a real scientific approach to our cocktails uh, to create a really unique drinking experience.
several different uh, unique techniques and uh, steps to, to ensure the maximum amount of flavor and uniqueness in every drink. We play with several different brands, liqueurs, clarified ice sometimes. Make sure you pay us a visit on Friday the 18th as we attempt to save our stages. We'd love to see you down here and support all the amazing local musicians that make our city so wonderful. We'd love to have you visit us in the downtown sometime and let us pour you some drinks. Right, what's going on? Welcome back to Brutal Reality TV. We're live on location at, which I've now found out is Tegan's house, and I'm with Kayla Williams. How are you doing? Good. At this bush? It's a good bush. This is a good bush. Good bush? Bush? <laughs> I don't know uh, what you're bush? into, but I'm just into nature. <laughs> Squash, pashes, and, and butches. There's all kinds of shit going Pash on here. Pash butch. <laughs> so, all right. It's a beautiful September day. We're sweating by the sun. Bullets. Yeah. So. Good day. Uh, yeah, let's talk a bit about the Ross Street stage. I'm really excited. The Ross, I've, if anyone hasn't been down, it's a beautiful stage they've set up. I mean, same location as we've said as the downtown stage, but at night it turns into a different crowd. You've got like 80 people rolling up, beautiful artists. It's fabulous. It's just a good time. It's like, it feels like a different city. It doesn't feel like downtown Red Deer. So would you call yourself a bit of a veteran of the Red Deer stage scene at this point? I'm old. No. <laughs> yes, I would say that. I've been around. That sounds awful. But I've been <laughs> in the scene for a while. And I, because I love it, because Red Deer scene is like, really like no other. There's a community. There's a group of people here that you can vibe with, that you can play as musicians. There's just like a lot of camaraderie in this scene versus competitiveness, which sometimes happens in other markets. So Red Deer has something special, which is why I, yes, have been around the block. So there's not going to be any you. fights to the death on September 18th. There might be. <laughs> Me and Peyton <laughs> will fight to the death. Right on. So how long have you been playing shows around Red Deer and area? I think I started my solo stuff up in 2017. So it's been a few years. But I've been around longer. I've been a teacher. I'm a vocal coach as well. So in the community that way. And been a musician here for, yeah, probably, I mean, we're going to say a decade. That's going to really age me, but... <laughs> I'm going to say a decade in the scene here. So So your weapon of choice is the keyboard or the piano the or both? Well, the keyboard, because it's just a little bit more capable of those synth functions. You plug it in, you know, different than an acoustic piano. So who are some of your influences in that style, the synth style? That's a great question. Um... I love Fleetwood Mac. That's not synth at all. But I love, <laughs> it's the oldies, like think of Christine McVie and like piano. So I love like oldies style, Steely Dan, Fleetwood Mac. So on a normal open mic night, you can expect a lot of covers from you guys? On a normal open mic, I'd say, yeah, we do def definitely go to the covers because you get that crowd reaction, right? So we'll do like Whitney. We'll yeah, do. Cheap laughs. Oh, well. Uh, anybody here just, like partying? <laughs> Just like big responses. <laughs> when you play Whitney Houston, right. everybody's going to be on their feet dancing, right? So it's a little bit different this evening, which is going to be all originals. But I still think in this community anyway, a lot of people do respond 
to the originals and actually listen. They're there to actually focus and listen and enjoy the material that people have written and have come to the table with. So it's not, it's, it's really quite a focused group. So when you're downtown, what's, uh, what's your drink of choice? Oh. Uh, <laughs> and anything? We'll go uh, mimosa. That's what I had today on the patio at Capital, actually. Capital package, Packaging? Package building. Package. What's it called? Package. Capital package. Please edit this. Um, <laughs> nope. I'm just calling it Capital, though, because that sounds cool. At Capital, okay, I had, yeah, a mimosa today. You like these actions? I'm very natural <laughs> with a microphone. All right, so the final question, if you could corner Tara Veer or somebody else oh, with, with, with some power and be like, this is why we need the Raw Street stage to keep going, what would you say to her? If anything could be said, music needs to be kept alive. The arts are important. It is a vital, absolute vital, I think, uh, like scene. We have to have it in all of, it, you know, there's lots of industries, but arts is important. And without music, what do we have? Really? It's silence. Silence, right? We have to actually talk to each other. Nobody and wants to do is, that. And this is clearly very <laughs> awkward, right? We need music. Well, it's just because of the, the distancing. It's just the distance. We want to touch each other, but we can't. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, this is my song. It's my first love, which is music. More reliable than any man.
You don't even know what this feels like as a musician. Yeah. To have live music and this many people enjoying it yeah. is honestly, honestly, what a, a sick treat we get to enjoy. This song is about being in a parking lot. We're on a street, so it's about that close, right?
Fantastic. Up next we have the one and only Curtis Abel. Curtis Abel is up next. I think we have uh, the sexiest room in town. Probably some of the most fun, flirty, fantastic staff. Uh, anybody that comes here, we make sure they have a good time. Nobody leaves unhappy. Great date night space. Um, it's a great late night space. It's just really awesome. And every week that we've been uh, open has been better than the last. It's been, it's been an incredible run. You come in the front door and immediately you see our dining room side. It's the, uh, this space behind me is, is the original space. Um, obviously we've been working on it over time, sprucing it up, adding some art. Uh, and then of course, yeah, on the, uh, the east side, is our new river bar. It's going to be our tap room. Um, we've been working on that for a, a few months. Um, but the room itself, I mean, people come here all the time and, and they'll, they'll find new things um, installed, new art pieces. Um, we display local art here. Um, it's just a really, really nice room. Every time people walk in, we hear a lot of wows and, uh, and we love that. Come and enjoy our space. Come and see it for yourself. Come and enjoy the whole Ross Street patio space because it's not just about tribe. There are uh, a bunch of great, great little, not so hidden anymore gems uh, here downtown in this in this area. So, you know, you can come down and visit us. We'd love to have you make a reservation. Um, but we we really encourage you to explore the area because there is so much to see. This summer has been incredible, and we're pretty proud of it. 
you know, the DBA and the city do a great job with, uh, with programming music and events down here. This year we've seen a huge increase in, uh, in programming created by um, the business owners. We've been doing live music, uh, open mic nights outside, um, and just live music right on the Ross Street patio. And uh, I can tell you that on the days that there are programming on the Ross Street patio, especially music, um, you know, sales can easily double or triple. You know, and it's not about just sales for us, it's about creating space making, you know what I mean? It's uh, having a space for the musicians to be able to come and, and show off their talents has been uh, uh, honestly a blessing and we can't wait to see it grow. Eat a little, drink a little, flirt a little, and tell your most awesome stories. at the Taco Loft where we sell taco and taco accessories. I went to an Edmonton Oilers game in uh, Anaheim uh, for playoffs. I was just down there chilling in Venice Beach. Uh, we got back from the game, went to a taco truck, I had these little tacos. They were delicious. Um, kind of hung out with the guys for a little bit. They were giving us little shots of Jose Cuervo and little plastic ramekins because it was Cinco de Mayo. And the idea kind of pondered. It seemed like something that Red Deer has been missing. Uh, so, uh, and then it kind of all came together when we seen this space. And we're big on supporting local through, you know, purchasing through local suppliers, making sure we're using local meats and local vegetables whenever we can, which is a little more difficult when we're kind of getting into the inspiration of Mexican. You know, all of our tortillas come from a guy that makes them up at Edmonton, trying to keep all that money in the, uh, what is struggling Alberta economy. You know, I've ran a lot of numbers in the past when it comes to stages and music in the restaurant. I have a whole spreadsheet on how it affects business. Um, and I've never seen it affect business this much. I've never seen people so just kind of in the moment. I remember the first Thursday night we had where there was a where there was an open jam. Nobody really knew it was happening, but everybody did pass by, they're like, stuff it's like kind of normal and they could sit down they could have a margarita or a taco or um, you know have one of the tribes flatbreads or those yummy little chicken bites that uh, chef Luke makes next door at the olive it's just a really great vibe you know that you even when things are normal the music seems so spread out but now it is centralized this is what's happening the bands that have been showing up are kind of the best of the best of central alberta and beyond i'm like these people never come out to open jams nobody you know i looked over one day and there was like 20 guitar cases piled over on the olive patio so that was uh, pretty phenomenal seeing that we went from staying open to 8 to 11 on a couple nights of the week because of the demand for the live music so come down to the taco loft come check us out but when you come here you really really got to be prepared just to have fun have a flavor experience, and always check out Taco Tuesday. Test one two. Test two 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 one two
because you guys, I can do it. And I think I speak for all the other artists out here. This next song is called The Five Finger Dance. I wrote it, so yeah, it's hard. Yeah, my drummer. Oh, you wrote that. <laughs> um, this next song I get to do. Uh, sorry. So the first song, Palm My Shade. Uh, that song we just did was Five Finger Dance. This next song, last song for the us tonight. So thank you for having us here. Great music tonight. Round of applause for everybody. Seriously. If everybody in the city of Redner can hear me. Jazz is down here every night to support this city. More than you already do, because, you know, we've got to give credit where credit's due, I guess. That's live. Quote me. Um, run, run away. Okay, so this next song is a great song that I get to do with a uh, Juno-nominated producer. I don't know as if uh, 1002 is still here. These are great guys. They have to work with this gentleman. This is called Run, Run Away. Thank you so much. This is what I'm doing with Mark here in a couple weeks, so... Hopefully we don't fuck it up. Let me take this drum. <laughs> we'll see what happens. Carl on bass, Nigel on drums, and this guy on piano. Take it away, Nigel. <laughs>
is the bell. Here at the Taco Lop, where we sell taco and taco accessories. I went to an Edmonton Oilers game in uh, Anaheim uh, for playoffs. I was just down there chilling in Venice Beach. Uh, we got back from the game, went to a taco truck, we had these little tacos. They were delicious. Um, kind of hung out with the guys for a little bit. They were giving us little shots of Jose Cuervo and little plastic ramekins because it was Cinco de Mayo. And the idea kind of pondered. It seemed like something that Red Deer has been missing. Uh, so, um, and then it kind of all came together when we seen this space and we're big on supporting local through, you know, purchasing through local suppliers, making sure we're using local meats and local vegetables whenever we can, which is a little more difficult when we're kind of getting into the inspiration of Mexican. You know, all of our tortillas come from a guy that makes them up at Edmonton, trying to keep all that money in the, uh, what is struggling Alberta economy. You know, I, I've ran a lot of numbers in the past when it comes to stages and uh, music in the restaurant. I have a whole spreadsheet on how it affects business. Um, and I've never seen it affect business this much. I've never seen people so just kind of in the moment. I remember the first Thursday night we had where there was a where there was an open jam. Nobody really knew it was happening, but everybody did pass by. They're like, stuff. It's like kind of normal and they could sit down, they could have a margarita or a taco or um, you know have one of tribes flatbreads or those yummy little chicken bites that uh, chef Luke makes next door at the olive. It's just a really great vibe you know that you even when things are normal the music seems so spread out but now it is centralized. This is what's happening. The bands that have been showing up are kind of the best of the best of central Alberta and beyond. I'm like these people never come out to open jams. Nobody, you know, I looked over one day and there was like 20 guitar cases piled over on the olive patio. So that was uh, pretty phenomenal seeing that. We went from staying open to eight to 11 on a couple nights of the week because of the demand for the live music. So come down to the talk a lot, come check us out. But when you come here, you really, really gotta be prepared just to have fun, have a flavor experience and always check out Taco Tuesday. Well, what's going on? This is Brutal Reality TV. How's it going, buddy? Very well. How are you? Let's uh, introduce yourself to the crowds at home. Uh, my name is Jeremy Duty. I'm a guitar player, and uh, I just kind of uh, make music every chance I get. Yeah, is this your, your hometown here in Red Deer, Alberta? I've been in Red Deer for almost 10 years now. Uh, I'm not from here originally, but I love it here. Okay, where'd you come from? Uh, I lived in Edmonton before that. I'm originally from Newfoundland, but that was when I was a, a baby. I was gonna say you don't sound like it. <laughs> no, no accent. You should hear my mom. <laughs> she's the she's the newbie of the family. Well, the, everyone. Is that derogatory? No, not sure. at all. Sure. Okay. I'm positive. Can we edit that? How important has this downtown stage been to you and your music playing abilities? It's a beautiful place to play. It's uh, it feels like community involvement, um, and it's just a great chance to to kind of meet the city. You know, it's it's been a big part of it. Yeah, and especially in this current <laughs> dystopia we're living in, this outdoor stage must be a godsend. It's the only place to play. I mean, when when there was no singing allowed indoors, it was the only place to play, and it was really important. Um, and it's been great for the businesses, and it's been great for the musicians, and I think it's been great for the town. You know, it's uh, it's a really important part of our community. Predominantly, do you do covers or your own songs when you perform? I would say predominantly covers, but I you know i play a lot i play a lot of original shows too and i play a lot of mixtures on my solo shows um 
I write all kinds of music and all kinds of songs, and so uh, very often if I'm in a band situation, uh, an original might get popped in here or there because I've got a country song, I've got a bluegrass song, I've got a blues song, and so whatever kind of band I'm kind of sitting in with, if they're interested, I've got something for it, you know. I make more money playing covers. That's <laughs> <laughs> what it's all about, right? kids at home. <laughs> but uh, no, I love playing my original music too. Because September 18th here at the Raw Street stage, you're going to be yes. playing, and covers are not allowed. So no do you got to, you got to, you know what you're going to play? You got your couple songs in mind already? I've definitely got a lot of songs to pick from. I don't know which ones I'm going to do yet, but uh, I have a pretty good idea of one for sure. Um, yeah, I mean, it's going to be great to hear everybody's original songs, 10 great local artists. Um, and it's a, a nice open mic to say, no Tom Petty, <laughs> no, uh, no Neil Young tonight, right? No Bob Dylan tonight, no Paul Simon tonight. <laughs> Just all the, re the best Red Deer has to offer. Yep, all original tunes. It's going to be great. Hey, everybody, why don't you come down and support the local music scene on the Ross Street patio on September 18th. Uh, we're saving our stage, hopefully. Hello, check. <laughs> All right, welcome back to BRD TV. I am here with Shell. Hey. <laughs> How's it going today? Good. All right, so what's your what's your weapon of choice? I heard, are you ukulele? Yeah, I've been playing the ukulele since I was in high school. Uh, I played the guitar pri previous to that, but uh, it was too hard. It was much too hard, and I gave up much too easily. Way too many strings, eh? Exactly, and like <laughs> to get the cool chords, you have to like stretch your hands out and... I wasn't into it, so <laughs> I I went down to four strings and um, haven't looked back. So how important has this specific uh, Ross Street stage, like the outdoor stage, been been to you, thir especially during a pandemic? Yeah. Um, well, I mean, live music is m like live music is live music. It's it's so uh, special, and um, it's one of the few things that can completely connect every single person in the room whether you like it or dislike it it's gonna bring you in and you're gonna be a part of the the energy that's there and so um not having that outlet for so long i think um a lot of you know, like me and my friends that are big in the music scene in red deer like it was depressing it was it was mm. awful not being able to go to shows not being able to yeah let loose and let the love of music kind of take over um and so, yeah, I think when we're finally bringing this back, you know, and, and, and supporting each other, I think we have a lot of amazing, amazing talent in our city. And um, being able to see my friends, like, have that passion and that love that I know that I feel when I get up there, it's like, I just, I'm just all their number one fans. <laughs> That's awesome. So what can we expect from, from Shell for the rest of the year and beyond? Oh, well, I'm hoping to um, kind of pick up my music again. I've been very, I was very slow to go and um, actually like have confidence and trust in myself and all that kind of good stuff. Um, and so, but now that I'm here and I'm doing it, I'm, you know, kind of reaching out and I have a lot of friends that are so smart and they know <laughs> so much more than I do. And I am just a little, just a little seed getting ready. And so I'm getting all my resources and so hopefully there'll be music that you can like eventually put on your phone or maybe a show. Who knows? Come down September 18th to the Ross patio to watch me and a bunch of other amazing Red Deer local artists sing uh, some of our original songs and have a great time. This is, this is the hit. Hello, Red Deer.
read you. I do truly love this city and this music scene. It's amazing to be a part of this. What a great night. You're so clever. This is my song called Hope. instrumental vocal that I wrote. We haven't heard any instrumentals tonight, so I wanted to share this one. This made me so happy to play it when I wrote it. I called it Joy. We got a song called Hope and a song called Joy, because I write about feelings. That was, that's what the music is all about, though, I guess.
exactly what you want to say and of course sometimes the most important theme to write about is love and I think about songwriters like Joni Mitchell and Paul Simon and when they write a love song they just get it exactly right and you can really feel it you really get a sense of what it means to be in love. And what it's like to be with that special person. Well, I did it. I did it. This is that song. I don't want to be your boyfriend, to me that's just the title. What I want to be is the guy who's going to keep you up all night. I'll do the things he never did. I'll say the things he never said. I'll kiss the things he never kissed while kneeling down beside your bed. Because a woman's pleasure is like a buried treasure. When I find it, mmm, I feel rich beyond measure. There's no pressure. This is whatever you want. And whenever you want it, I'm on it, yo. Because I don't want to be your boyfriend. I'm just a homewrecker, damn near irresistible. I can't help it if your boyfriend, he don't know how to sex you. He don't know what he's doing. I don't I don't wanna be your boyfriend. I'm just a, a home wrecker, damn near irresistible. And I can't help it if your boyfriend finds me so sexy. She don't know what she's doing. All right, look, it's plain to see that your lady's got needs. And if you ask me, she's got a right to be pleased. So get down on your knees if you want to keep her from me. Because if not, it'll be me sweetly kissing on her tummy. Now, shit, she even got to touch me back. I don't care. I got a knack in the sack that always keeps them coming back. And when I'm coming up the air, she'll be begging me for more. I'll get her one way or the other, just like I got your fucking mother. You see the hitches hit the bitch just ditched you. Pull the old switch, you ruin, call it a pinch hitter. I've been sitting on benches in the back of her mind. Now, I'm swinging at pitches, and she's mine all mine. I'm very superstitious. But I'll tell you what my wish is I wish to fix the breakfast But you can watch me wash the dishes And if you try to stop me I'm gonna beat you with my fist is Fuck with me again You're gonna be sleeping with the fishes Yo Cause I don't wanna be her boyfriend I'm just a home record Damn near irresistible And I can't help it if your girlfriend She finds me so sexy She don't know what she's doing I don't wanna be her boyfriend I'm just a home record Damn near irresistible I can't help it if her boyfriend He don't know how to sex her He don't know what he's doing no, I guess she probably told you I was coming on pretty strong Singing love songs all night long But you got it wrong And I bet she never mentioned how happy she seemed When she saw me, how her eyes beamed How she couldn't help but scream Oh my God And how she jumped up, wrapped her legs around my waist Looked deep into my eyes and told me God, it's good to see your face And I know this probably ain't the easiest thing for you to hear from me But you gotta hear it Cause the truth will set you free Now all day long who was flirting and teasing, giving me a reason to think I might be heavily breathing with her. We decided to go for lunch. She said she had to change. Started taking off her clothes, and I thought this is strange, but she looked so good, I couldn't help but be inspired. Started feeling kind of dingly, think about what might transpire. So yeah, given a chance, I'd probably do it all again. But I swear to God, I never meant to fuck your girlfriend. Yo, I never meant to fuck your girlfriend. I'm just a, a whole neck of damn near irresistible. I can't help it if your girlfriend, she finds me so sexy. She don't know what she's doing. I don't want to be her Boyfriend. I'm just a, a home record, damn near irresistible. I can't help it if a boyfriend, he don't know how to sex her, he don't know what he's doing. I never meant to fuck your girlfriend. I'm just a, a home record, damn near irresistible. I can't help it if your girlfriend, she finds me so sexy, she don't know what she's doing. <laughs> thank you, Red Deer. Thank you, Downtown Business Association. Thank you, Kyle. Thank you, Carl. Thank you, Kevin.
Uh, we've got County 23 closing off the night, uh, and then after that we have a very special treat for you, um, which I'm not going to divulge into right now. Uh, but once again, I would like to say thank you to Tribe, Capital Package Store, the Velvet Olive, Taco Loft, Vinyl Dan, Occam's Razor. Let's hear it! The downtown, to everybody, every single one of you is sitting in these chairs. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. So we're going to get County 23 up here, and uh, just as a recap, I want to send out a big, big heartfelt shout out to Diane Hermery, who is not able to be with us tonight for uh, unforeseeable circumstances, but uh, I want to dedicate this night to her. We love you, Diane, and uh, we'll see you when you're, when you're with us again. And uh, we'll be back with some more music in about 10 minutes. All right, what's going on everybody? Welcome back to BRD TV. I am here with Central Alberta's finest rockabilly band. Uh, no. No, not no. the rockabilly band. They're a country band. Yeah, yeah. This is County 23. Well, this is 75% of County 23. Yes. I've heard redheads can't appear on film, so you had to leave the banjo player at home. Yeah, he's uh, in an alleyway somewhere drunk. So, when did you guys get County 23 going? Actually, it started a couple of years ago. Uh, Nathan came up, had a uh, idea to play this graduation party acoustically, because at the time we were in a punk band, uh, the Uncultured, <laughs> and uh, so we started there, and then after that we just kept writing and compiling. Then the crazy ginger showed up with a banjo, and we started playing more, <laughs> more, more roots type country. Then, right, so we're talking about shows and how they've been few and far between. How important has this downtown stage been for you guys? Actually, this downtown stage has been pretty cool since, you know, this whole pandemic and everything started. Gave everybody a place to play, and it's cool atmosphere. It's outside, which is awesome. Yeah, because you guys have been playing the Velvet Olive for years now, right? So just a natural progression to move it out, yeah. out to the front. <laughs> just step out front where people can see you then. <laughs> Lights are on. That was on. a bold move by Kyle at the yeah. Capital Package to let you guys be seen in public. So. Oh, exactly. We're pretty ugly. <laughs> <laughs> This event coming up on Friday, you guys got on the bill. You're looking pretty, are you pretty excited for this? There's a lot of great people on the bill, uh, a lot of great musicians, so it should be a great time, that's for sure. Heard there might be some beer there as well. Uh, beer's never a bad thing. <laughs> uh, bourbon's never a bad thing. <laughs> you know, we're, we're, we're okay with alcohol. Is that, is that the next County 23 album? Bourbon's never a bad thing? I, I like it. <laughs> there could be a song in that when I get home. <laughs> right on. So what? You guys have a message for all the people and why they should come downtown and support the local arts? I just, I really appreciate that this is an original music showcase because one of the problems is it's hard for original music bands to get paying gigs because most of the kind of bars, the traditional venues, they want cover music because people want to listen to the music they know. So to get an opportunity to present original music, which is what we do, uh, is is really is really exciting and to see the other really good musicians in Red Deer get this for them It's a it's a really great opportunity yeah. Hell yeah, so no sweet home Alabama for you guys this this or Friday <laughs> no Tuesday's gone though. That's in there <laughs> Sneaking it in yeah. get it past the sensors exactly. All right boys. Thanks for taking the time. Hey, right. thanks for having us Josh <laughs> Quoted as being a renaissance man. Oh, my name's Kyle Key. I'm the owner here at the Velvet Olive and the Capital Package Store and Ross Street Printing and Red Deer Scene 
and I think that's it. A Velvet Olive is a very small space, it's very intimate. Uh, our full pre-COVID capacity, we're at 42 seats. Uh, we had to remove more than half our tables to put ourselves within the six foot guidance of uh, social distancing. So we're now at 39% capacity inside. So we went from 42 seats to 16 seats inside. The Capital Package Store is essentially an extension of the Velvet Olive. Um, it allows us to be open earlier for lunches and still serve the same beer and cocktails that we have on our menu. Uh, it also allows us to have kind of a general store so we can sell different items that we uh, make here and do some kind of gift boxes and off sales and that sort of thing for the upcoming kind of holiday season. It's a kind of a two-part uh, story on the name. Uh, the building that we're in now used to be the Capitol Theatre. So from 1938 to 1960, it was the Capitol Theatre. And I wanted to kind of pay homage to that uh, era of the, the golden era of film. And this theatre had 500 seats, and there was another movie theatre across the street, the Crescent Theatre, that, uh, that both showed movies at the same time for many decades of movies and thousands and thousands of people through here. We, are, we always knew that the community downtown was very heavily focused around live music. And when live music went away, we, we all missed that. And, and we kind of realized how much we took for granted the ability to go to 20 different venues in town and see live music on any given day of the week. There was always an option for that. And when that, when that went away, the community really suffered from that. And as soon, the very first day that there was music outside, um, I actually I think I think the first unprogrammed show was uh, Carl Stretton was just set up a battery powered amp and just played music outside every day, and uh, just to give people that that glimpse of okay we can this isn't gone forever the heartbeat the soul of uh, of the community in this downtown area is. St still alive and it's still beating and we can uh, we can get it back so once we knew that the once we found out that the Red Deer City was installing the Ross Street patio again and programming it with music uh, we, we really kind of we, we saw the hope we saw the light at the end of the tunnel and as soon as those events started happening we just saw the, the same people the, the community gather and uh, sit and enjoy live music and you know we kind of got our we got our happiness back the open mic with singing outside allows us allows musicians and the community that enjoys live music to come out and enjoy and come out and uh, you know do the thing that they love their kind of creative expression uh, through through music. So it's been really good. Here at the Taco Loft, where we sell taco and taco accessories. I went to an Edmonton Oilers game in uh, Anaheim uh, for playoffs. I was just down there chilling in Venice Beach. Uh, we got back from the game, went to a taco truck, had these little tacos. They were delicious. Put the shit out of this. And uh, I would like to thank Daniela, Jason, Cassandra, Joe, and David for being part of the film crew. It's going to be multimedia for days coming after this. And uh, a special thanks to Ryan Cooley. Let's hear it for Ryan Cooley. He's been making this sound beautiful all night. So big hand for Ryan. Without further ado, the last full performance of the night. Give it up for County 23.
so we are really, really honored to be down here. This is a great thing. Um, yeah, not only that, County 23 has t-shirts for sale. 25 bucks a pop. This is our uh, this is our radio song. what this song's all about. Have you ever heard the music of Metallica and a punk band called Fear? Yeah, we used to listen to those bands a lot. If you never heard Fear, I suggest you go home and YouTube that shit. Society, and I do love it too. 
County 23, everybody! You guys are okay to take a couple minutes and uh, perform a couple more songs for you to finish off the night? Is that cool? Okay, we're gonna take some, we're gonna take a couple minutes and play a couple more songs to finish off the night. We'll see you guys in a bit. What's going on, Brutal Reality TV? I am here with Tyler Walleen. Hello. A.K.A. Mutant Man. Yes, hello. Well, what's your, what's your weapon of choice? Acoustic guitar? Yeah, acoustic guitar I play. I sing, and right now I'm learning other stuff just to help myself become a better musician, I guess, and fill up my songs. What kind of other stuff, like schmoozing with promoters? 
No, drums and <laughs> a little bit of synthesizers to make it not sound so empty when I'm just by myself. Right on. So how long have you been playing music in Red Deer? Uh, my first show or first set that I ever played in Red Deer was in like 2012 at the Velvet Olive on a Thursday. If it was, or was it Tuesdays then? I think it's always been Thursdays there for open mics. But um, so it was about eight, uh, 2018 when I started playing regularly and making a, a, a goal for myself to play uh, every open mic that I could basically. Okay, so what, what's your background then? You come from playing in bands, or you've always just kind of did the solo thing? I had a band in high school. We were the typical, like, pop, punk, trashy, <laughs> trashy band, and uh, we, didn't, we didn't go very far, <laughs> <laughs> obviously. <laughs> but I started playing on my own after that. And so for uh, this uh, Ross Street stage, how important has that been for you during this craziness that's been going on around us? Uh, it's been really interesting to have a place to play music again and like worry about what songs I'm going to sing. It's kind of uh, a little nostalgic in a way. <laughs> to <laughs> think Feels about like decades ago since you last yeah, been able to play. Since, I, since there was a stage to come out to a lot. and uh, It's good to focus back on the music a little bit and just um, have that outlet that's a distraction from... Everything else that's going on. So how important is this event next Friday for you, the Save Our Stages, Ross Street, original music feature that's going on? I'm really excited for another chance to play music before it gets too cold to play music outside. And then I'm not sure what's going to happen in the future about music and venues, but I'm going to savor this show at least. Oh, yeah, come down on September 18th. The open mic starts at 7. Perfect. I'll see you there. This is the last band in the three rows. Oh, yeah. I think Derek might do. <laughs> <laughs> they got the little mics on them. What's going on, Brutal Reality TV? I'm here with Amanda Mitchell from Red Deer. How are you doing? I'm good. How are you? Oh, I'm pretty good. What, what <laughs> brings you downtown today? This interview. So why don't you tell the audience, like there's going to be millions of them, like what's your, what's your background? What, do you, what are you doing here? I basically just play guitar and sing. I'm a singer-songwriter. Um, I've been doing that for a number of years. Okay, so you mainly play original music or covers? Yeah, or mostly both? originals. Yeah, mostly. some color or sorry, some covers mixed in. But so, how important has this downtown center been for you and, and your friends for music? I think um, it's been it's been really important um, for me personally because it's allowed me to uh, meet people, create a community. It's been especially important, I think, too, after the shutdown because it sort of made me realize how much. Um, I think we kind of need each other and need that community and how much we all really cared about it, but maybe we didn't totally realize it until it was all <laughs> taken away. So, um, yeah, as, as a new person in Red Deer, it's been really important for me. Yeah. yeah, so you're pretty excited for this September 18th show that's coming up next week? I'm nervous, but I'm really excited, yeah. So they just kind of did an all call and you just happened to be one of the last Yeah, I just, you know, it's been so long since I've um, really been playing regularly, so... I just thought, I, sh I just need to do it. I need to do, it's good to do things that scare you. So I'm like, okay, I just need to get back into it. Yeah. And also like show, show my support too, because I know personally when I come down here and I hear everybody else play, I appreciate it so much that I, I want to contribute. I want to, you know, make other people feel maybe the same way some of those artists make me feel. So, yeah, so what's a message you would have then for people that are, that are watching to, like, what should they know about all the arts and especially downtown right here? that especially this summer it's been thriving and that it's literally like right out your door downtown this patio has been awesome it's been I mean it, it looks I think probably different this year than it ever has because we have to follow the rules and mask up and socially distance but um 
yeah, it's still, it's, it's been doing so well. And I don't think there's anybody here who wants it to end. So we're all just kind of soaking it in while we can. Yeah. Awesome. So you want to look dead into the camera and tell people to come out and watch you on September 18th? <laughs> no pressure. <laughs> no pressure, no pressure. Yeah, um, I hope to see you there. It's If you've never been down before, I do recommend getting here early because, like I said, it, it does fill up. And, um, yeah, it's. I think it's going to be a really special night. What's going to be a special night? September 18th. <laughs> awesome. Well, thanks a lot. Thanks. photo and then I'm over there. <laughs> Alright, uh, so my very dear friend here, Mike Zabo, uh, we got together a couple weeks ago and he said I wrote this really fucking awesome song. And uh, <laughs> it's about this. It's called Ross Your Patio. And uh, only Mike could write a song so poignant and so direct for everything that's going on. So stay with the is a brand new song that we have never played to ever. So here we go. It's, it's, like, it's like my new band. Woo! we 
Two more songs for you, Kayla's gonna do one, and then we're gonna send it off, just kudos and I.
just close my eyes when I'm taking through the secrets of mine and then to feel to each other. Make some spines and let the chicken chew it cold. I don't need to try to stay, I just hold on tight. Give me that to the beat, I'm up for so slight. It's in the arms of the night, the lips of the face, the beat, the human cannibal. Oh, yeah, and these are what you want. You can do it, 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 you can do it,